An accidental release of the highly contagious foot and mouth disease is likely. Well, that's according to a report that looked at the risks of building a deadly disease lab on the K-State campus. Investigator Ryan Kath reported some of the safety concerns last week, and he's now here with the latest. Hey, Ryan. Elizabeth, before freeing up millions of dollars for construction, Congress asked a committee of experts to weigh in on Homeland Security's plan for this controversial biolab. Tonight, the report is out, and it says there are some major shortcomings. This is the future site of Homeland Security's National Bio and Agro-Defense Facility, where scientists will study the deadliest animal diseases, including some that can be spread to humans and have no known treatment. Before bringing the dangerous pathogens to the beef belt, Congress asked for a risk assessment of building the lab in the Midwest. The overall finding of the committee is that the site-specific risk assessment is incomplete. Today, the National Research Council raised safety questions about the plan and said Homeland Security was overly optimistic about potential risks. The state-of-the-art bio lab will replace the government's aging research center on Plum Island. Right now, that's the only place the highly contagious foot and mouth disease is legally studied. But the report predicts the odds of a foot and mouth outbreak during the new lab's lifetime are at least 70 percent, which could devastate the agricultural economy. In response, officials at K-State played down the report, saying, and it didn't factor in all the safety measures that will be put in place as the design moves forward. It's an accurate figure based on what they presented, um, not necessarily on what they might in the future present. We wanted to know how Congress will react to the report. So what are policymakers supposed to make of all these findings? Um, policymakers asked for this assessment. They now have the assessment, and they will have to figure out what to do with it. Well, tonight, the first reaction from Kansas congressional leaders is one of continued support. A joint statement reads, we are concerned that some of the findings do not seem to account for mitigation and safety plans that the Department of Homeland Security has already said will be put in place. But then it goes on to say, we are confident this facility will be the safest research lab in the world, and its mission is critical in order to protect our nation's food supply. We've linked the entire report along with our investigation from last week to today's story. You can find it on NBCActionNews.com. Just click on Investigators. Ryan Kath, NBC Action News.